is Joshua Vergara from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And I'm here with, well, Jide Technology and a look at their Remix OS. Why don't we go ahead and get an introduction from you here, and you can give us a quick rundown on what Remix OS is all about. Sure. Well, uh, nice to meet you guys. Remix OS, uh, we created it because we believe in the vision that Android can do more than just consume content. We believe that Android can help you produce and create content as well. So we uh, think we are pioneering, or we believe we are pioneering the Android PC. Uh, what we have back here is uh, one iteration of what our vision is. This is the Remix Mini. Uh, we ran a Kickstarter campaign in which it became the number five hardware project of all time. And we actually fulfilled all the units out to all the backers already. And what we see back here is a touch screen uh, monitor. What you can do with this is what we think Android PCs should be all about. So um, this is a file manager. Let's look at how we put your files into different organizational uh, segments. Documents, pictures, music, movies, downloads, desktop. This is more intuitive uh, than what you see normally on Android. And it's, it's intuitive regardless of what computer platform you came from before. Now let's do something also kind of uh, mind-blowing. A lot of people... Actually, I do want to stop you there real quick. We're going to move the camera over so you can get a closer look at Remix OS. All right, so we're taking a look at the interface right now. How exactly is Android being integrated into this kind of looking desktop right here? All right, so first of all, this is your app drawer. And as you can see, the Play Store and all of the 1.6 million plus apps are available for download here. Now, let's move on to the PC side of things. I am in my movies... Uh, I'm in one of the folders here, in my movies folder. i got to move some of these files over. I just did a drag select. In fact, I did it kind of fast. Let's do it again. I'm going to drag. Oh, I think I just copied it here. Uh, drag select here, all files, and drag and drop into another folder. This is what we think PCs are all about. These are the habits that we carried over from other platforms. So let's do something also that uh, a lot of people still do on PCs is watch videos. I mean, how more basic than that? Your phones, your tablets, your PCs, your laptops, we've always been doing this, right? But multitasking is vitally important in, in today's day and age. A research shows us that people now spend 31 hours in a 24-hour day doing things. Think about that. So this is super common when you want to do things on a computer. But then on an Android, this is relatively, no, I'm sorry, it's specifically revolutionary. So you see three windows and three apps open right now. And I'm going to do something else. This is your Word app here. Um, and I'm going to type out a uh, name, and I'm going to type out uh, maybe here. Let's do something really simple. Drag select again, control cut, control paste. That was a keyboard shortcut. Drag select again, right click on a mouse. Yes, that's right. Right click on a mouse on an Android, cut that, paste that. And then also since it's Android and this is touchscreen, long press, cut that, long press, paste that. Why not? I mean, this is whatever input method you're you're wanting to use at the time, it should just work, right? So this is what uh, we feel Android PCs are really all about. Uh, so taking taking the back end, well, not really the back end, but taking what Android is, quote unquote, all about, and just sort of making it into what you would expect on a PC, obviously. Do you, when you open up things like, let's say, games, does does it come up like a, like a window? Do you, does it come up like a full uh, full screen or anything? So what would what example would you have here? Oh, Cl Clash of Clans, I love it. Well, so Clash of Clans comes up as a full screen on, on startup. You can also minimize it. But honestly, if you're gaming like Clash of Clans, Boom Beach, Modern Combat 5, I think this is probably the environment you want it, it to be in. So Android on a large screen. So usually people, uh, Wi-Fi is really slow at the convention center, but usually people uh, want to play this on a phone or a tablet, and it's cool. But so here we have, we have zoom ability through the keyboard shortcut also. Uh, I actually completely blanked on how to do it. But um, so this is what we think gaming could also be. Imagine this was on a TV. And imagine you watching either your favorite videos or playing your favorite games on a much larger screen. This is one of the benefits of having something like the Remix Mini connected to your TV screen. So we got to look at the large screen, a touch screen even, um, on uh, Remix OS. But what are we looking at over here? Well, this is something we're really excited about. We were able to partner with the Android X86 team. Uh, we actually flew to Taiwan and talked to the founder himself. And he was really excited to work with us because uh, his vision was Android being able to run on Intel x86 chips. And what we did was we put Android into a PC environment. 
So this collaboration worked out really naturally for us. And on the 12th of January, which is next Monday for, for our relative time, um, this is going to be the, the first time you can download Remix OS for PCs for free on www.jai.com. Uh, so what you see in my hand here and what you see connected to this ThinkPad here is um, the, the Remix OS for PC put on a USB drive. And you stick this into a, an old existing or an existing laptop or a tower PC that might be collecting dust in your attic or your basement. And then uh, you put it in, you boot from the USB, and you probably revive an old useless PC. Now, for a lot of us, that's really cool. That's, um, that's, that's something like a, a, a toy for some, uh, a really cool product for others, a second PC for another, um, making sure your PCs aren't going to waste for other people. But we're really targeting emerging markets here. Now, so let's think about this scenario. You are a person, a student in a classroom, sharing maybe two terminals amongst 30 classmates. And previously, these computers were invested with viruses and malware and overstored with uh, files. So, and you can't actually even locally store as easily as you would like. Um, for these students, carrying around one of these and on their keychain, they could walk um, up to these shared terminals, plug it in, and that would be their desktop. Save their homework files locally, pull it out, go to their uncle's house, maybe an uncle has a laptop, plug it in, go and use the same desktop they had before, go to their local library, the community center, pull it into another terminal, and get the same desktop they had before. All the apps they downloaded, all the data they stored, right, is right there. This could potentially be a life-changing uh, uh, device for them because access to information is really the key to uh, knowledge and transform transformative powers for yourself to change your lives, your family's lives, and, and that little corner of the world, right? So this is what we're really excited about. We, we really started this company with a mission to use what we could do with technology to positively affect as many lives as possible in the world. And so um, this is as close to realizing that as possible. This is an alpha release on the 12th. Uh, we hope that the users who downloaded and tested out for us give us a lot of feedback, especially critical feedback. Obviously, when it comes to iterations of Android, we have, let's call them growing pains. Okay. Um, are there any applications or are there any, let's say, hurdles that you've had to go through already with this uh, alpha release of Remix OS? Or let, let's put it this way. Are there any applications that when we try to load it, it's going to have a lot of problems? If you follow Google development best practices, actually on Remix OS, it, they run perfectly fine. If you deviate from uh, this protocol, uh, the more you deviate, the more bugs we have to actually kill and work on through our engineering uh, teams. But three things, yeah. But three things to keep in mind on Remix OS that might be different from other uh, versions of Android or even Android itself. Uh, one, we are going to put you in multiple windows. We are going to put you in resizable windows, and we are going to allow keyboard shortcuts and mouse right-click menus to function across the board on Remix OS, including potentially your app. So for developers, we have a community board, and we've actually uh, put up some links to where Google actually gives you uh, good best practices for supporting these types of environments. So uh, I, I'm happy to share these links. You can find it at uh, Jita.com. And if you're a developer out there thinking about what can I do to my app to make it compatible with Remix OS, just remember, if the closer you follow Android uh, development best practices, you don't have to do anything special. Uh, as far as performance goes, because we did see, you know, Clash of Clans, you saw it in the clip there, it ran wonderfully. Like, it looked like it was going to be a really fun time to play, uh, even on a mouse and keyboard. But in the case of the uh, touch screen over here, it was going to be gangbusters. It was going to be really fun to play. Uh, but as far as performance goes, you're piggybacking off of the, uh, the computer that it's already being plugged into, right? Uh, are there any specifications that the uh, users might need to know in order to have the full experience of Remix OS? Right, nice. For the x86 or the Remix OS for PCs, um, an interesting thing is if you if you check out uh, a lot of bench, bench, uh, benchmark scores, right? Um, the, highest, the highest score right now is a Samsung device. I don't remember which one. If you stick it into an Intel chipset, um, it actually kind of doubles that score. So performance-wise, you're not going to be um, running into any really serious problems. In fact, you're probably going to be running uh, into a much faster or smoother experience with Android. Um, so it is an alpha release. What we're asking the early downloaders and uh, users to do is give us a lot of feedback. Let us know what's wrong with it. 
let us know what you like to have better function on it, and we'll work. We, again, we average updates every two weeks, and um, RPMs work really hard. We give them all this um, feedback. They actually funnel into actionable items for our software engineering teams to work on. And you know, this is what we're all about. We want to grow this with a community because without you guys, actually, we can't compete in this market. So many Fortune 500 companies live in our space, and we can only do it inch mod and wild deep. Uh, mile deep. We need you guys, the inch, and we need to work with you guys, mile deep, engage with you guys, learn with you guys, communicate with you guys, and through that, that's the only way we can survive and maybe thrive in this market. Aside from our already good looking and really cool products, it's that kind of reaching out to the public and reaching out to guys like you is the reason why we really need to see Remix OS here at Showstoppers at CES 2016. So we want to thank you, man. Give them your name one more time. Uh, my name is Jason, this is Jide, and we're really excited to be here at CES. Jason, thank you so much, man. And a great look at Remix OS. Make sure you stay tuned for even more from CES 2016, and you might see even more from Remix OS because we might be visiting them or they might be visiting us at our booth also. Uh, that's true. Looking forward to it, man. All right, signing off here at Showstoppers at CES 2016.